all right grand cross gamers what's going on bsg bring you another grand cross video now we did get information about the slime collab we actually have the full patch notes on the jp side again i want to say this is on the jp side it's not global global will get this within two weeks so you know i'm just reading this now so that you guys can understand what we're gonna get but before we get into the video go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you guys so much for the love and support you've been showing me over the past couple days uh we've been growing a lot greatly greatly appreciate all that you guys have been doing and uh yeah with that said and out of the way let's go ahead and let's get into these characters so the first character we're gonna get into is demon lord rimaru now the jp live stream was atrocious it was garbage doo doo garbage basura all right it was ass but there did you know they did do justice with showing us the characters because that's the only way we could look at the actual characters right the only way we could actually see them was through the jp live stream so unfortunately that is uh the only way we could have seen them but it is what it is so rimuru rimuru is looking good but i i don't know I, I like we have to see how he performs in game first he is unknown by the way so keep that in mind i thought that they would consider him a demon as well unless i'm reading this wrong but i thought they would consider him a demon too so it, it is kind of unfortunate that he's not considered both but it is what it is so at the start of Alliance's turn increases the hero's basic stats by eight percent and remove one buff from each enemy so he will remove one buff from each enemy at the start of allies turn which is really good so you know he doesn't really suffer from you know margaret demon melee uh or darkness melee i should say like anyone who buffs he's gonna remove one buff every turn uh, every uh, time he goes so uh, it's really good pretty good and then for each buff removed increases the hero's basic stats by eight percent when it's at max stack the following effect activates once only for three turns increases the hero's pierce rate by 130 percent so he can stack up his basic stats five times so at max he'll be at 40 percent to his basic stats for every buff removed 130 pierce rate is insane like that is actually crazy that's like <laughs> that's crazy that's the i think that's one of the biggest multipliers for a passive skill in the game yet like that's insane 130 percent is crazy but here's the thing right he only gets that effect once he removes buffs he doesn't unfortunately like he unfortunately he can't get it other other than that he has to remove buffs so if you're not facing someone who buffs themselves which is i mean it's pretty common you're gonna face darkness melee uh i don't know how often like how often you'll face margaret but i think like you know she's you can see her here and there tarmiel the new red tarmiel buffs himself uh, there's a couple units that you know actually do buff themselves so um you know once you face those units bond bond's another one he can remove one buff from bond's team as well so that's good but um anyway yeah so once you face people who buff he's gonna be eaten he's eaten no matter what i i don't know how good he'll be <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i don't know how good he'll be against bond but you could make a team around him that could help him out there right he's gonna absolutely destroy king like king is dead king like festival king stands no chance against this unit at all it's crazy um because he has a pierce card which means that his like his um you know his pierce card will rip through the shield pretty easily and since it's a single target it's gonna be even stronger than an aoe pierce so keep that in mind but yeah very very good unit um i would say when you're facing off against units that buff so again his first skill is a pierce card just a straightforward pierce single target not anything crazy he has an aoe infect for his second card same thing as merlin very good to have you know to stop bond from healing to stop anyone from healing but primarily bond because he heals so much so that's good that he has that as well in his back pocket and then he is another abyss unit that's an aoe so the only ab ultimate abyss unit that we have is small wings king he is um he is the second aoe i believe he is the second aoe unit with abyss so that's good um so you guys already know uh pretty much how this works because of small wings king but then once he's six out of six this 30 percent becomes 60 so he potentially could be used for super awakening uh sa coin farming as well super awakening coin farming he could be used for that too so that is good there right, i i do like his kit his kit is actually pretty fire um will he be the craziest i i don't know i actually don't know how crazy he'll be you can't use this in death i 
don't know why they do this. You can't use this in deathmatch. I mean, I don't think it would be really that helpful anyway, but I mean, the fact that they restrict it, it's just so dumb. It's actually dumb, but Rimuru is looking solid. Uh, I think he's a pretty solid unit. I don't think he's anything crazy or anything like that, but we'll see how he's looking, obviously, once he comes out. But, um... I don't think a lot of people are going to get this unit 6 out of 6. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't think a lot of people are going to get him 6 out of 6. So, it sucks, but it is what it is. But he looks like a good unit. Looks like a very good unit. So, that's uh, Demon Lord Riru. Now, let's move on to Shuna. So, Shuna. I am not the biggest fan of Shuna, but, I mean, she could definitely have her uses for sure. She's also unknown. Again, I don't know why she's not a demon either along with Minimaru, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Her passive decreases damage received from unknown race allies by 20%. That's it. That, <laughs> that is her her passive. So she's very similar to uh to Ram. She she's just pretty much a backline unit. You can use her in the front. I don't know how helpful she'll be, though. I'm gonna be completely honest. So her first skill, I believe that's uh the same skill that Goddess Elizabeth has, the stun ray. Uh she she can stun on rank two and three i'm assuming she can do stances that's pretty much it uh her second skill is a heal skill rejuvenate yeah she i don't know man i think she's not that good i'm gonna i'm gonna be keep it real i don't know if she's that good she just doesn't seem like a unit that i would go crazy for i, I don't i don't know like she just stuns and heals that that's it maybe she could be used i don't know um I don't know, maybe she could be used in like a death match, I guess. She, she, she'll she have her uses somewhere, I'm, I'm sure, but I don't know if this, she's like the craziest. Her ult is a single target. Weird, because in a JP livestream, it looked like an AoE. Single target. I think that she would be a little better if this was actually an AoE ult depletion. I really do. Dude, I swear though, this was an A. Mm. I mean, I trust the translations because shout out to Grand Cross Database. They're, you know, the person who runs this is very, very good with the translation. So I, it's not like I don't trust them, but it's very weird because it looks like an uh, an AOE when they were actually showing the unit. So that's very weird that she's uh, not an AOE and just a single target ultimate deplete or whatever. But okay. Sure. So yeah, she's seeming like a niche unit, I guess. I, I don't know. I thought they would make her a little better. I don't. I don't know. I just thought they would make her a little better. But these are the two new units. They're both green, by the way. I don't know what the decision f for that was, unless there's gonna be like a blue festival unit after them for the 30th anniversary. <laughs> I don't know what the decision was for that actually was. But keep in mind, he actually works very good against the goddess race. I wanted to um, mention this. He works very good against the goddess race because if you face off against a Margaret, he's gonna remove um, you know buffs every turn. If you face off against a Tarmi he'll remove buffs every turn and then if you face off against a uh goddess elizabeth as well he'll remove her barrier potentially as you know as well so he's very strong against the goddess race he can actually work like very good the only thing is if margaret gets too if she gets two like uh buff cards she can just remove this infect which does suck but other than that not, he he actually will work against them pretty well because margaret's blue he's green so he has type advantage tarmiel might give him some trouble i'm not gonna lie tarmiel will probably give him some trouble but i don't think that he's gonna like not be that great against that team he's gonna be pretty solid against the blue units all in all but against the goddess team because they use buffs so often he is gonna be pretty good against this all um i'm a fan of rimuru i like him i like him i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like chase a six out of six but definitely a fan of him shuna not so much i just don't really know like what they were thinking with shuna like she's a support sure but it's like i don't I, I don't know like would i say ram or um yeah ram is better probably maybe i mean decreasing damage is good right the damage you take like that is good that yeah that's pretty good i i don't know i i i, I don't know she just she doesn't seem that crazy but yeah here are two years all right let's go ahead and get into the patch notes so um i usually don't do this but since the patch notes are out i might as well read them you know just so that way we global players know what we could potentially be getting in the next two weeks so of course you know the brand new units and also keep in mind that these units as well the old 
slime units will return on the pan, uh, banner as well. Actually, let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go ahead and let's just get into the bed. Can we go here? Is this is this where it's at? Yeah, let's go ahead and let's just go get into it right now. So th this is the banner. The banner is not looking the craziest. I'm not gonna lie. So this is the lineup. You got the two new units who are rated up 0.5 percent. Pretty good. These are the unfeatured units. So the old slime units. <laughs> So this this is where it gets crazy. Um, then you got Lilia. I believe this is the blue Lilia for the Pierce. Um, I believe these are the coin shop unit sin units, and then these are the coin shop <laughs> commandment units. Yeah, this is so bad. <laughs> it, it's, it's really actually bad. Like I'm I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's it's horrible. If you're a free to play, do not like I. I, I know, like, literally, I, I know that the banner, right, it, you know, they might not come back, but, I mean, to be honest, <laughs> just, just, the banner is not that great. I, I do like that they have the coin shop units on here. I do, but that they're not that great. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I, just, I just don't know, man. I, I just don't know what they were thinking. I, re I really don't, because... Granted, these three units are getting holy relics. I just don't think that you're, you're really going to use them all that much. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I just don't. Um, and then, yeah, it's it's nice that they do have, like, Esterosa is not a bad unit. Derriere is good for Belmoth. You can still use Blue Droll, right? For sure, for sure. But then you're not using Red Escanor. You're not using Merlin unless you're Alt Rush. And then you're not using Red Melly. You could potentially, I guess, run Blue Lilia for Pierce for the new Rearu, but, like, I just n not a really, like, a real big fan of the, the, the unit. I'm, I'm not. I, it's just, it's just, a. I don't know what they were thinking. I really don't. Let me actually see, because if this is, is that Red? I can never tell with the Meliodas. I don't know why. Um, I believe that is Red, though, because of the name. I recognize the name. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Red. Um. I mean, like, it's just weird. Like, why? Like, why would they do that? I don't know. Very weird. I know that, the you know, the old units are getting Holy Relics, but it is what it is. So, this is the banner. You, you can choose, excuse me, you can choose uh, the new Rimuru or Shuna at 600. Uh, but that pretty much that's it. Oh, also the ticket as well. Guaranteed SSR ticket for the collab. I would recommend probably buying this ticket because you could get you know shuna or rimuru the new one without actually having to summon on the banner and that probably is i, I don't know that probably is the, the best way to go about it to be honest with you like to be completely fair um but yeah we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll see right we'll see let's go ahead and let's keep going with the patch notes so down here we go keep going they are getting holy relics now i don't have the holy relics translated unfortunately but keep in mind that they are getting holy relics the new units and the old i i probably will try and find the holy relic translations or if someone has them but um yeah i unfortunately i don't sadly but uh yeah so the new units are going to be in uh the coin shop or collab units will be in the coin shop so you can buy them with um you know dupe coins for the collab units whatever here are the holy relics like i said they will be farmable so you can actually just get them like the kof so that's pretty cool here's the tickets you guys already know how this goes some uh some packs you can buy not bad um i mean they're, they're this is expensive but that's three that's three wow that's three hundred diamonds um yeah they are a little expensive but you know it, it's fine and then we also get the demonic beast antler demon pack so this this i like I, I like this i really do like this because you can just go ahead and buy the material i mean listen bro listen man. i'm not i'm not saying that uh, it, you know it, it's fair but it's i'm buying it <laughs> i'm gonna probably buy it because god i hate that antler demon so much um pack shot renewal so i guess it's gonna look like this now it's not gonna have like the the pretty like pngs anymore it's just gonna look like this i guess that's how it's gonna work so okay cool cool i, I suppose um all right so i guess they're just talking about like changing the packs and sales and stuff like that so cool cool all that good stuff all right let's see a pack oh discontinued packs okay super evolution pack 
Oh, uh, okay. So they're just okay. So basically, the packs that nobody ever <laughs> buys, they're just gonna get rid of. Well, it makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, change the design of the patrol. Okay, so they just they just gave it a little like made it look a little bit more pretty. Uh, now you can add a, when you go to friendship match, right? When you go to you know friendly matches, you can spectate. This is good. This is a good step forward for PvP because this could potentially come to the actual PvP mode. So that's good. That is pretty good. Um, if they added like a tournament mode or something like that, uh, some new type of PvP, that it would be pretty pretty cool. So they add in a spectator mode, which is nice. Um. So that's good. That is good. Here are the costumes for Rimuru and Shuna. Uh, the costumes for Rimuru are a little not th that great. Like they're not. They're a little underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. I like this one. I, I, I do like that one. And Shuna's costumes are alright too. Um, but alright, let's keep going. Here's some costumes for uh, Binimaru, Milam, or Milam, and then uh, the old Rimuru. And also, I believe we're gonna be able to get. I think they mentioned a free SSR um, old Rimuru. I'm not sure though. I think they did. Uh, here's a, a SR Rimuru that we could get for free. You log in all these days, and you're actually able to get. What is this? This is a single multi. No way. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is. Wow. So two weeks, and then you can get. <laughs> it's terrible. It's god awful, actually. Um. Oh well. Mm, not okay okay i actually didn't read th th through this okay so you can get a multi from the mission and a free there, there is a free ssr uh Rima rule two multis two multis grand cross what is going on they they don't do this man they don't do this a lot they actually they don't do this at all but two they're giving us two free multis i'll take it man i'll take it i always always mention that two multis is so powerful so powerful having two or more multis for free is so goddamn good i like that um and then the free ssr Rimuru. so that's that's pretty cool that they're doing that world quest of course you guys already know with the collab the story and stuff like that um and then we're also gonna get a world quest so that that is good or not world quest but um we're going to be getting an uh, a raid, a raid. That's what it's called, a raid. So we'll be able to get a, uh, these stuff from the raid. I'm trying to find it, but I can't. They showed it on the live stream. They 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 did show it on the live stream. But I just oh Clayman, that's his name, Clayman. Okay, Clayman. Is this what it is, or is this uh? Uh, no okay no this is uh the world quest all right so these are the missions for the world quest okay so i read that wrong my apologies so that's the mission for the world quest <laughs> Yo, this is everywhere <laughs> yeah this is why i don't go over like this is why i don't like going over jp patches because i can i just I suck at doing them because the translations are rough because it's from google translate so um, i'm not the best at doing it so this is why i do it right? that's exactly why uh this is the roulette the um the event so you can get all this good stuff from the roulette new costumes for the sr i like this, this is funny uh the the um the roulette so these are the missions that you can or the rewards that you get from the roulette itself and then this is the boss battle clay man um so weird it's not like a conquest because usually we you know we would get a conquest where we could actually invite friends but i don't think you can do that here i think there's a single like a single player mode yeah, I think this is a single player mode. Yeah, it, it is. It is because it says you cannot use your friend support character, so it definitely is. Um, okay, it's not like the end of the world, but it's just you know I would like you know, I would like it if we had a conquest where we could you know invite friends or whatever. It'd be pretty fun to do. Um, here is the clear challenge rewards. So not bad, not bad at all. Here's some stuff that we can get. I am missing this set, I believe, for Rimuru, so I'll take it. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, so in order, so you get the box. Yeah, okay, so I guess you get the box and then it comes with this material, and stuff like that. Oh, you can use this for the KOF. Huh. That's, okay, so that's pretty cool. So I'm assuming from here on or here on out uh that this is just going to be the base material for uh collab holy relics that's that's 
actually pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty fire. Um, all right, Kings training event. I don't exchange material thing. I don't really care about that. Uh, training support event. So the, all this good stuff not translated. Diamonds. Okay, so if you spent 900, okay, that's they're bugging. Uh, but here's the diamond consumption event. Yeah, they're bugging. 900. They're they're absolutely bugging. And then you can change the login character um, for your rewards to Rimuru and Milam. Is that it? Special move max strengthening event. Okay. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, this is... Okay, so this is the old rumor. I, I, I was about to say, there ain't no way this is the, the new one. I was going to say. All right, so they're giving us a chance to get max special move for him. That's, that's good. That is good, actually. Wow. Okay. Or is this the... Oh, this is the SR. This was the SSR one. Oh, okay. Well, no, never mind. I don't, <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really care about that then. I don't, I don't really care about that. But, all right, battle events. Um, a, a couple of uh, bug fixes. We need a lot of that. But a couple of bug fixes. And anything else? Um. Oh, they're adding weapons for Milam. Yeah, okay, seems like they're adding weapons to the Mila. Okay. Ooh, and they're adding Sario to the permanent gotcha. Okay. Okay, all right. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Okay, that's good. That is actually really, really good. Okay, cool. Um, Change the additional status of the character. So, I don't know who this is. I, I don't, but they're buffing yeah they're buffing the old stats for the that's okay you know what though i can tell you which one is milam i think i think this one is milam let me see so this is crit chance because i can tell by the crit chance right i think is it i think this one's milam I don't know um but yeah they are you know buffing them so that's good so i want to see what they look like with their buffs that's going to be very interesting they're just yeah they're wow they're actually my god okay yeah they, i'm gonna need a whole separate basically video on this because wow i need this translated but yeah that's gonna be it for the video this video is long as hell i'm not gonna lie this video is long as hell sorry about that but i tried to get through as much information as i possibly could let me know down in the comments are you hyped for the collab the, the collab seems fun right uh, it seems fun like a little filler before the anniversary so we'll see what the anniversary holds for us because i'm really excited for that but let me know down in the comments below are you summoning are you skipping i'm curious and uh yeah thank you so much for watching the video as always have a good rest of your day and i will see you all later